Good morning and welcome to Wake Up With Marcy, a talk show with heart. I'm your host, Marcy Hopkins, and I am thrilled to welcome you to a morning filled with captivating stories, amazing guests, and thought-provoking conversations. Our first guest is the multi-talented Christy Cashman, an author, actress, and producer whose impressive filmography includes appearances in iconic movies such as American Hustle, Joy, and Ted 2. Not only is Christy a powerhouse in the entertainment industry, but she also shines as the founder of Youth Inc., a nonprofit youth mentorship program. Her debut best-selling novel, The Truth About Horses, explores themes of resilience, strength, and finding one's path amidst adversity. Get ready to be inspired by Christy's journey and insights. Next, we have the dynamic duo, Amy McCall and Jamie Layburn, co-CEOs of Infuse and Booze, here to unwrap some joy and celebrate Christmas in July with their innovative approach to gifting. Infuse and Booze offers a unique and flavorful experience for mocktails and cocktail lovers, making them a game changer in the world of gift giving. Join us as we explore how they're spreading cheer and delight with their perfect gifts for any occasion. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have Kim Diao, founder of Balm Beanie, here to share her incredible healing and regenerative properties of her skincare line. Balm Beanie stands out for utilizing 850 plus MGO Manuka honey, a powerhouse ingredient known for its skin nourishing benefits. Discover the magic behind Balm Beanie and how she is revolutionizing the skincare industry with her innovative approach. We now meet Christy Cashman. She is an award-winning author and a mother with a diverse background in film, encompassing producing, acting, and screenplay writing, a journey that inspired her debut novel. Alongside her literary pursuits, she actively engages in various charitable organizations. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. So we nice were just talking about how busy you were. So yeah, you got a yeah. lot going on. There is a lot going on and I'm really grateful. I mean, it's kind of like one of those things, be careful what you wish for. I, I always say that to um, myself. Yeah. Do you? It's, yeah. It's like that sort of really relevant for me right now because it is exactly what I wanted. You know, I really wanted yeah. to have a lot of attention around the book and for it to have a buzz and yeah. and all of that. But what it what it keeps me from doing is actually working on my next novel. That's the only thing. <laughs> Well, it is true. A lot of people think about writing a book, right? That that's the hardest part, but yeah. it's really hard because it's so time consuming to get it out there, right? And that's, that's just like true. an, yeah. that's a full-time job and it's, you know, on its own is I, I have found that with my, with my own book. But I wanted to yeah. first talk about Youth Inc., which is, because it's so amazing. Um, oh, you, thank you. Too. Yeah, encouraging youth to embrace literature, reading, writing, and the arts, which is so vital for us to really grow. Our create creativity mm. is what strengthens us in so many ways. So can you share how, what inspired you to start yeah, you think? It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a mentorship program uh, for kids uh, 13 to 18, or I should mm. say young adults 13 to 18, for anyone who really is passionate about the arts. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we provide a um, sort of an exploratory place for them to indulge in all different disciplines, whether it's making puppets or uh, doing a fashion show or writing a screenplay, making a movie. We've done so, we've done podcasts. Wow. We've done so many things and uh, it's kind of like one of those things that I wished I'd had when I was that age because it took me a while to realize that I had a voice as a writer mm -hmm. and I had to do a lot of other things before I really trusted my voice. And so I guess what I'm trying to do, create is, a, is an opportunity for kids to find that maybe a little sooner because mm -hmm. you can only find it by... Um, 
experiencing. You know, you can really yeah. only find out if you're a photographer if you play around with a, a camera. 100%. You know, yeah. and you can really only find your voice if you write your way to it. You know, you have to mm -hmm. produce a lot of pages mm -hmm. in order to find that place where you know that that niche, that place where you really feel like your voice is is getting heard as an author. Right. right. And I love that young people are able to explore these creative avenues because we're told, you know, math, science, you know, are you going to be a doctor? Are you going to be a lawyer? Like, there's so much more. And I really believe that we, yeah. we grow as a person even more so within our creativity. But through the program, you also uh, support physical and mental health for adults. Is that correct? Yes. So I have You Think, which is Y-O-U-T-H-I-N-K. Mm -hmm. And for the You Think program for the kids, um, the youth is lowercase. The ink is capitalized because it's youth, you know, creating essentially, youth, youth writing. And for the You Think program for the adults, it's the other way around. So it's capital um, Y O U mm -hmm. in lowercase think. Yeah. And so I like those, the play on words. And I enjoy the fact that, um, well, I think it's cool the fact that the program for the adults, which s helps support the program for the kids, is all about the same things. It's a providing a space for them to explore and become. Um, reacquainted with their creative side because i think mm. so many adults put it aside to do all it. of the things we mm -hmm. have to do in life we have mm -hmm. to you know uh have a job raise our kids um just do all the things that we have to do uh to live and yeah. and so those those creative things that i think everybody has i think we're all creative people i really do and we are. there is creativity in science and business and all of those other um you know, fields. So mm -hmm. I believe that, that though sitting and playing with, you know, uh, you know, paints and brushes or, or learning pottery as an adult or doing those things that you put aside to do the things that you have to live for are, is really important. And I love that that part of it is a support, a way to support the kids program. Yeah. Where, and where are the programs? Where are they offered? I started it, I started it in our uh, property in Ireland simply because I had the venue to do it. It's uh -huh. not inexpensive to um, you know provide the the leadership and the program and and then continue it. And so one way that I'm able to do it is because I do it on our property in Ireland. Mm -hmm. But then last summer we brought some of the kids from Ireland over. And we um, joined forces with Epiphany School from Dorchester, which is an amazing, mm -hmm. uh, amazing school founded by Reverend John Finley. Mm -hmm. And we also partnered with the Commonwealth Shakespeare Company and my friend Steve Mailer. And mm -hmm. so this year we are um, we're inviting those same kids back again. And it's sort of an exchange program in the arts. And yeah. my idea is to grow it and go all over the world and try to amazing. provide these fun, cultural, yeah. um, you know, creative exchange programs. So speaking about even more books, you know, we were talking about my book and we we're talking about your book, but we haven't heard what your book's about. So can you share with us about what it is and what's next for you? Absolutely. Well, the title is The Truth About Horses. And once you read the book, you sort of understand what that actually means because it there is um there is a herd of wild horses that is sort of like a late motif as mm -hmm. in a song mm -hmm. and um and they represent something that um is kind of interpretive and that's how i'd like to leave it in the in the book and so the truth about horses is maybe kind of up to what you believe those horses uh represent after reading the book but it's about a girl who's 14 years old, and don't let that steer you wrong because we've I won the Ben Franklin Award for general fiction, uh -huh. the gold, awesome. and I won silver for teen fiction and silver for new voice. So it is 
a young protagonist, but the story is really for anyone because it's about a relationship between a father and a daughter and how they navigate their way back to each other after mm. a tragedy. So um, it's a lot of their emotional roller coaster, how they kind of have built up walls mm -hmm. because they're angry, they're frustrated, they're sad, they don't know how to necessarily connect. Yeah. And um, after this tragedy. And so really it's about how they find their way back to each other. Beautiful. I love that. And it, and, and it is hard, the relationships between yeah. a daughter and a, and a father. So well, where can we find more about you? I know you've got so many things going on and yeah, yeah I'd love to, to share it's where people very, can find you. Yeah. The book is just, it's kind of like the gift, um, has become a gift to me by, mm -hmm. by committing mm -hmm. to writing it and, and going, going down the path of, of the kind of painful, I'm sure you can relate, you know, it's kind of a lonely, painful journey in a way when you decide to embark on a creative endeavor. Mm -hmm. And, but it's been the best gift that I gave myself. I have to say that the best gift yeah. I've given myself. Yeah. And Jane Seymour read it and instantly, um, wanted to option it. So we are producing together and um, it looks like it's a, it's going to be a series. That's mm, what um, that's what it's all pointing at right now anyway. Well, so I wish really you so much luck with that. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming on Wake Up and it's been such a pleasure meeting you and hearing all that you're doing to help others like that that oh. is what life is about, helping others. So thank, thank you. And thank you for asking me about you, Think. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no, it's amazing. And when I saw that, I was like, this is really incredible. So thank you for that. And good luck with the book and the series and everything you have upcoming. Thank you very much. So nice to meet you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. After the break, we have the dynamic duo Amy McCall and Jamie Layburn, co-CEOs of Infuse and Booze, here to unwrap some joy and celebrate Christmas in July with their innovative approach to gifting. And Cam Diao, founder of Bombini, she is here to share the incredible healing and regenerative properties of her skincare line made with a very special ingredient. Find out what that is after the break. We are having Christmas in July with Amy McCall and Jamie Laybourne, the CEOs of Infuse and Booze. Welcome back to the show. <gasps> Thank, Thank you so much. Happy to again. We love it. <laughs> this is so exciting. Mm -hmm. I am in love with what you guys are doing Thank and you. the summer drinks that you had on last time. Tell us just real quick again, for those that didn't catch the last show, yeah. tell us about Infuse and Booze. Yes. So we use dehydrated fruit and herbs, and we put everything in the jar for you. So all you have to do is add your favorite spirit, or if you're making a mocktail, you just add boiling water, and then you can make a delicious craft cocktail at home. Super easy, super fun. Super easy, and how many different ki kinds that you have <laughs> yes, again, right? Have, how many flavors? We have 19 currently, and we are coming out with four new ones for the holidays. And that's what we have right here, right? Yes. We have some the of them. Big reveal. Yeah. Some of them. <laughs> so can you share with us? I'm actually going to hold this up because these are beyond gorgeous. So tell us what do we have here? Yes. So we have our classic sugar plum mm. smash, which is so delicious. And it also has a sparkle added to the jar so it makes a sparkly cocktail or mocktail. So cute. Okay, so and cute. so tell us really quick, like what kind of alcohol would you be, what's in here? Yeah, so I would pair that, so it's got plums and apples mm. with a little bit of lime, yeah. which is delicious. Yeah. Um, I would pair that one with vodka or tequila. Mm. Maybe. I have made it into a mule and it's delicious, a okay. plum mule. Okay. Kind of do, we'll yes. do whatever you want. We yes. say, we say there's no Bad decisions in drinking, you just, right. no, rule, no rules at least, right. no rules. But whatever so you want, what put else it do in we have here. In. Yes, yeah. of course, you can use any booze you want. Yeah. Yes, we made an old St. Nick fashioned, which is our spin on an old fashioned, but with a little bit of a festive twist. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. made a Yule mule, mm. 
Mm. It's it's to die for. It's got pears in it. That's what this is? Oh, yes. It has pears. And what else does it have in it? Pears and limes and cranberries. Mm. It's a delicious meal. A little little sprig of rosemary. It's delicious. Delicious. And then we... Okay, the one on the end. Yes, yes. I cannot stand it. So this is fun. It's our Jack Frost Java. And we used white chocolate, espresso beans, Uh um, peppermint sticks, and a little bit of sugar. And it makes a white chocolate... Peppermint espresso martini. It's good. So these make incredible gifts, obviously. Very giftable item. I mean, seriously. And, and then, each jar makes eight to ten cocktails. I love that. So, so you're going to have enough. make it again. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you're going to take the jar, and if you're going to make a cocktail, you're going to fill the jar all the way to the top with your spirit of choice. Mm-hmm. If you're going to make a mocktail, you're going to fill the jar all the way up with hot boiling water. Let it sit for a day or three, two to three days mm-hmm. in your fridge. And then when you're ready, you could just take a little nightcap out, take it out of the fridge, have a little nightcap, put a shot over ice. It's that concentration. You're going to get that shot. Right. And then you put it in your glass, drink it straight, make, add, a add a mixer, you're ready to go. These are also when you add the hot water and you let them sit for one to three days in mm-hmm. the refrigerator, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. To really get the flavor. Yeah, you want the infusion to really exactly, get Exactly, exactly. They're, they're beyond delicious. Mm, and I you. mean, I can drink it right out of the jar. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so I love the flavor, but you can mix it yes. with a juice mm-hmm. or whatever it is, yeah. a sparkling water Absolutely. that you want. Mm-hmm. And and are these good, like let's say, let's say you had this with vodka, or or can you put a wine or champagne in them? Yes. We do have people turn them into sangrias, yes. Okay. We do sell sangria ones on our website okay. as well, yep. I, yes. That sounds Because people love wine. And you know, you could make your own, IPA in here. You're gonna have absolutely. You have your fruit beer. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah. We have a smoked harvest that we do with bourbon and whiskey, and people love to make smoked beer out of it. Yeah, great. Yeah, Yeah. smoke. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah. So real quick, take us through what are the gifts that are available, and also, I mean, we've got wedding season coming up, and a lot of great stuff. We have four packs, three packs, two packs, and singles. Mm -hmm. Um, We have a lot of people like like the two pack, for instance. People love for uh, weddings. They'll do a his and a her. So they'll put oh, I love buy that. A, uh, a French mimosa for her and old fashioned and put in a, a gift pack. Um, uh-huh. We do housewarming gifts, birthday parties, bachelorette parties, like anything you can think of. This is a gift for someone who has everything. Yeah. And no one ever, I always say, no one gets mad when they get this. No. Teacher appreciation. Teacher, you'll be safe. You're okay. the re- your child is the reason your teacher needs a drink or a mocktail or cocktail at night. <laughs> You need to give them one. Well, I will tell you, they say, don't give us another mug. Just be appreciative, yes. right? Um, but yep. this would be a great yes. gift. That, Very that's unique. so true. And mm-hmm. let tell us, please, where can we find your yes. products, please? You can go to infuseandbooze.com. And we have all of our flavors there along with our recipes. We have some merchandise mm-hmm. and other fun stuff. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. So thank you again for coming on Wake thank Up. You so yes. Much. Christmas and in July. Christmas in July. So Love much it. fun. <laughs> and these are just incredible. Thank, thank you, you again. So much. so much. After the break, we meet Cam Diao, founder of Bombini. She is here to share the incredible healing and regenerative properties of her skincare line made with a special ingredient. And we will find out what that is after the break. Joining me now is Cam Diao, and she is the founder of Bombini, which is a new fantastic product that we're gonna talk about. And it's a balm that helps with our skin. And there's a great quote uh, from a plastic surgeon that I wanted to share with you all. And the quote is, our experience using Bombini in our plastic surgery clients has been extremely positive. Following laser resurfacing, The sites have healed more rapidly with less redness and new skin was generated more quickly. We have also seen facelift and eyelid patients heal, fade, and blend more rapidly and the scars ultimately becoming less noticeable. And that was plastic and aesthetic surgeon, Dr. Derek Steinbacher, and he's out of Connecticut. So how fantastic that you have this incredible review about your product. Yes, it was um, it was a really amazing review to receive and obviously to hear from a doctor 
with his credentials that this product is performing the way that we had anticipated and it, yes. it feels like an accomplishment for us, absolutely. Huge accomplishment. So let's talk about Bombini and how did this product come to fruition? How did you even come up with it? So our journey with Manuka honey began at our veterinarian's office. I had heard about this honey before, but it wasn't until our veterinarian shared a story about how Manuka honey helped one of her canine patients. From there, I just became so curious about it and I started to experiment with this honey throughout the pandemic. So Manuka honey, what's, what's different about that? Uh, Manuka honey, it is very different than regular honey. It is actually a very rare type of honey that is harvested from the Manuka tree that is native to um, New Zealand. And this honey has certain markers and it is required to be lab tested before it's exported by the New Zealand government. Um, at Bombini, we use an MGO of 850 or higher and the MGO numbers on the Manuka honey show the antimicrobial and antibacterial property of the honey. And this honey has also been scientifically recognized for its antimicrobial and wound healing properties. Incredible. So <laughs> let's, t I, I'm telling you, I mean, like here it is right here. I mean, this is so great because it's for travel and when you're on the yeah. go and, you know, let's talk about the, the parts of the face, how we can use it. What's the benefits? What, what, tell us all about this product. So it is great for just as your last step in your skincare routine. I like to use it to seal in my moisturizer at night or even in the morning. And for on the go, I like to always keep it in my bag to hydrate and repair my lips or even I wash my hands a lot. Uh, so I will uh, use a little bit on my hands after I, I wash them to help with the dehydration and to constantly just keep repairing my skin. It's it's essentially good for almost um, anywhere on the body except for directly on the eyes. Uh, mm -hmm. So it really does help to repair and rejuvenate the skin if you feel that there are parts that need a little bit more TLC on your body, such as even maybe your elbows or your knees or mm -hmm. your feet. You can even apply a little bit there and a little does go a very long way. And, and how about the absorption? How, how, how does, it, does it absorb well? Yeah, it actually does absorb very well. Um, you would be surprised and you will probably see the results of the bomb very, very quickly. Yeah. I can, it just kind of just goes right into your skin yes. and it blends very beautifully and mm -hmm. you will just You have beautiful skin. Okay, if I'm using Bombini, <laughs> well, I get to have your skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been using it religiously for almost two years now. So I, it, it's, yeah, it's a staple in my everyday routine. Please share with us what's in the future for Bombini and where can we find your product? So uh, you can find our product directly on our website. We do sell directly to consumers right now. And what's in store for the future is to grow our brand and our product line responsibly, ethically, while keeping the environment in mind. We have a second product that is set to launch soon, and it has amazing ingredients to complement the Manuka honey, such as peptides, plant stem cells, and mushroom extracts. Well, I'm so excited to see that product. Yes. And um, especially if it's complementing this um, because this is already doing so much to enhance and repair our skin. So yes. the two together will be just amazing. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for making this a priority and helping us <laughs> because it's, right? It's, it's the biggest, it's, you, everyone sees our skin, right? Yeah. And to have any help, especially for anti-aging for this lady, I'm very happy. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah it's, a, it's a holistic product. We want people to feel good about themselves and, yeah. you know, putting yourself forward. Your skin is the biggest organ on your body. Yes. And at Bombini, we are all about, you know, being good to ourselves 
mindfulness with our bodies spiritually. So um, it all just yeah. goes hand in hand. All right. And well, thank we're you. We're happy again. to help people get there. Yes. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you again so for much. coming on. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Wake Up With Marcy. I hope our guests have inspired and uplifted you this beautiful morning. For more information on today's amazing guest and to catch up on past episodes, be sure to visit the website wakeupwithmarcy.com. Please remember to join me every Wednesday on Instagram Live for Wisdom Wednesday. I go live at 11 a.m. with incredible individuals that add so much value to our lives. That is wake underscore up underscore with underscore Marcy. Thank you for joining us on this journey of inspiration and empowerment. I will see you next weekend. I can't wait to see you. Remember to be kind to yourself and kind to others and wake up to all of your possibilities. See you next weekend.